Uh, look at Angie Olsen's got hearts for her buddy. That's me. I'm her buddy. Uh, it doesn't say subscribe. Lisa Draftbook said it. It's just like a little thing in the right corner that says receive oh, notifications. There you go. Receive notifications. There you are. So our story, our wedding is very, very simple. Uh, Tamara Christie was there. I love Michelle that. Michelle Adams was there. Yeah. Um, nobody knew. Nobody knew. Carrie and I had long discussed many times that we really didn't want to get married. It wasn't about getting married for us. We, we didn't need the government nor any particular religion to sanction our love. And if that's your thing, bless you for it. It's just not our thing. Um, but then I got a wild hair up my butt one day. And then I said, I'm going to marry this girl and she's not going to know. I'm not going to tell her. That's going to be awesome. So I called a great friend of ours. We were actually hosting our company's annual event. In right? Connecticut. In Connecticut. Yeah. And so I called up a friend who's hosting the event at his facility. I said, hey, go get it ordained. I, I, we found a link. I said, go get it ordained so you can marry Carrie and I, but don't tell anybody because nobody knows. So there was about 100 and some odd 20 people who were there from around the world. We had people from the United States, Canada, South Africa, South Africa Europe. We, we, had, we had an annual conference for the company we owned and nobody in the room, including Carrie, nobody, including our kids, Nobody knew we were getting married except for myself and our, one of our best friends who actually got ordained purposefully to perform the ceremony. So if you want to see that so video. I can tell you exactly where to find it. If you go to brianandcarrie.live and you click on the us um, image, it takes you to a page that actually has our wedding video on it. Watch the video after this. Watch this first. I bawled my eyes out. She did. And I wrote her um, my vows. her vows for her and made mention of the fact that she was probably crying at the moment. And I was crying right. didn't really do it justice. It was awesome. Oh, the, there was another person who knew. You had our, our dear friend Angelo Hunter play the song that you played for me. One he, of didn't, the, he, didn't, he didn't play it. He sang he it. He sang it. One day when Karen, I was living in Chicago. Karen was living in Montreal. She was a very bad day. We had not started living together yet. Clearly, we were in different cities. And uh, she called me crying. It was the first time I ever heard her cry. And I was... 800 miles away, so my heart was uh, broken and I didn't know how to help her. So I just instinctively put on uh, Bob Marley, No Woman, No Cry, and uh, played it for her. While and I she cried was, harder. But yeah, but it was as good I tears. found, those good tears, right? <laughs> so our, our great friend, Angelo Hunter, I called him because he's a great vocalist. And uh, I said, Will you sing in our wedding? And this is the song I want you to sing. And he did. So nice and quietly in the background, the, the ceremony started. Gary started presiding over it, and all of a sudden, Angelo just stood up and started singing No Woman, No Cry, which made her cry harder. It was just like... There's so many best <laughs> moments of my life, but that was one of them. Not bad. <laughs>